is her world, a world apart from mine. Her name is Catherine. From the moment I saw her, she captured my heart. secret place, far below the city streets, hiding his face from strangers, safe from hate and harm. He brought me there to save my life, and now, wherever I go, he is with me in spirit, for we have a bond stronger than friendship or love, and although we cannot be together, we will never, ever be apart. pretend they're helping you. The slime pit. They catch me, I'm dead meat. What do you mean? Kids even disappear. Disappear? That's what they're trying to do to me. Think they're gone? I don't know. Hey, where are you going? Far away from Ridley. Here is solid, but when pressure is applied here, it swings inward. Good. Good. We can't be too cautious. Now, how soon can we get this in place? The stones are being cut. Ah, Kipper. You're late for your lesson. I know, I'm sorry. What's Father teaching you now? Chess. Training another student to beat you? Hmm? No, no. To beat you. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Oh, Kipper takes this game very seriously. Kipper, what's troubling you? Something that happened. Tell me. This kid was being chased and I helped him hide. Who was chasing him? Two men from this place called Ridley. Ridley? It's a foster home. He said bad things happened there. Kids got whacked, kids even disappeared. I wanted to bring him down here. I wish I could have. What happened to this boy? The men grabbed him. They dragged him away. Kipper, do you think this boy was telling the truth? Hmm.
Vincent. Are you well? Yes. I've missed you so much. Are you well? I haven't heard from you. Something's wrong. What is it? When I see you, Catherine, I'm filled with a happiness sweeter than anything I've ever known. And at the same time, I'm reminded of a life that can never be. And I feel great pain. I know. So do I. Oh, Vincent, what will we do? thing we can do and endure the pain and savor every moment of the joy. We don't have much time, Catherine. I need to tell you something very important. The children below speak of a place called Ridley. Ridley Hall? The foster home? Yes. It's supposed to be a very good one. No, Catherine. Children are being hurt there. Are you sure? I believe they are. These children have no one to protect them. We can't let them hurt the helpless ones. They must be made to feel safe. How can this be? How can this happen? If children are being abused in this place, I can stop it. I'll look into it. Right away. Be careful, Catherine. An anonymous tip. Someone reliable with access to information. Ridley's supposed to be a model place, one of the good ones. Supposed to be. Look, I can't have you snooping around some foster home right now. I'm already juggling seven cases, all going to trial, and I'm going to need you on the phone. Talk to get Joy. It's all routine. Joe, you don't need me on that anymore. It's all paperwork from here. Kathy, we go to trial next week. There's going to be press coverage. I'm going to need you there to keep an eye on the witnesses. It's all routine. I could do it in my sleep. Yeah? In your sleep? Your bed that big? Knock it off. Joe, this is important. I wouldn't be asking if it wasn't. I've got good reason to believe there are serious problems at Ridley Hall. We're talking about kids, Joe. Do you hear me? It can't wait. Redcliffe, do I hear your biological alarm ringing? I need to check it out. All right. Okay, fine. Go check it out, but make it fast, okay? You know, you're not working with your father's cushy law firm anymore. We got plenty of work to do right here. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Buddy of mine, an undercover, said he saw you walking in the park last night. Have you lost your mind? Just out for some fresh air. Catherine Chandler, with the district attorney's office. Oh, what can we do for you? I would like to have a look around. Well, do you have an appointment? No, I don't. Well, let me see if Mr. Barnes is able to see you. That's all right. If you'd like a tour of the facilities, I'd be glad to show you around. I'm Richard Barnes, the administrator. Catherine Chandler. Oh, why don't we start upstairs? So, uh, you're with the district attorney's office? That's right. Now, what brings you here, Miss Chandler? Well, we're making a survey of the city's foster care systems. Well, we truly try to do the best we can for the children. You have a good reputation. As I said, we try. This is a typical dorm room. Everything clean, in order. We stress that. I can see. Well, um, I'd like to see a classroom. Oh, certainly. Right this way. Good morning, Mr. Barnes. I guess you could say we run a tight ship. It looks that way. They're remarkably well behaved. How do you do it? Structure. We give them structure. Shall we go elsewhere? 
I think kids need a sense of structure, you know, especially these kids. Hello. Let me show you the play area. You know, I'd like to talk to a few of the children. All right, I'll get some of them together. No, I could just walk around for a few minutes. You don't mind? Well, of course not. You know, uh, Miss Chandler, we're not perfect, but uh, compared to the squalor and depravity that some of these kids come from, Ridley is a positive force. Thank you for the tour, Mr. Barnes. No problem. Oh, keep an eye on me. What's your dolly's name? Susie. Where does Susie live? Does Susie live here with you? She lives with her mommy and daddy and little sister, but she comes here to play with me sometimes. Does she have fun when she comes here? You know I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Who? What do you mean? They made him disappear. Okay, let's start over. What's your name? Eric. You're crazy! Come on! Wait, she's my sister. What's your last name? Shut up, Eric. No, I don't have his last name. His first name is Eric. No, I can't go out there. I've been out there. That's the point. I want to talk to him away from Ridley Hall. Well, when can I get the transfer order? Tomorrow. Could I talk to your supervisor? And when will she be back? All right. Tomorrow morning, first thing, I'll be there to pick it up. Bureaucracy in action. The rules designed to protect the child from being moved are the same rules that prevent the child from being moved to safety. Sounds perfectly logical. Unless you're the kid stuck in home and being abused. He's got to wait. Makes me furious. What are you going to do? Wheels won't turn any faster. I'm out of here. Hey, you've only put in 12 hours today. <laughs> Listen, if there's anything I can do... No, just stay as cynical as you are. Good night. Where are you going? Got a date. Well, that's okay. I was busy anyway. job was going? Well, it's been a long time. We've missed you. I'm sorry, Margaret. It's going fine. As she prowls the mean streets, battling evil and corruption wherever it raises its ugly head? Something like that. I think what she's doing is terrific. Something she feels passionate about. I knew I could count on Greg to defend my honor. Well, here's to passion, wherever you find it. Do me a favor. When you find it, let me know. Yes. What's going on with you and Greg? Nothing. Nothing. Really? He seems like a really nice person. He is a really nice person. So? So that's about it. No chemistry, huh? No chemistry. There's nothing you can do about that one. Too bad. I mean, where are all the really great guys? Before I got divorced, they were everywhere. <sighs> what happened? They all go underground?
quarantine, please. Just a minute, I'll check for you. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. It's a transfer order from the Department of Child Social Services. Yeah. Let's see, you uh, want a little boy named Derek. No last name. What's this about? I'm not free to discuss that. Well, we have a few Eric's here. This one has a sister here. Ah. Then we have a problem. What problem? Eric and his sister ran away last night. Where are they? I've got people out looking for them right now. Have you notified the police? Notified child social services. May I use your phone? Certainly. Child social services, please. Yes, this is Catherine Chandler with the DA's office. Have two children from Ridley Hall, a brother and a sister, been reported missing in the last 24 hours? Thank you. I'll be back. You're being transferred. To where? To a home that suits you better. You don't like it here? So, I'm taking you someplace else. What about my sister? She's being transferred, too. Let's go. I told you to wait. Nobody's gonna hurt your brother, okay? As long as you behave yourself. But listen now, I don't want no scenes on the way over. You make it hard for me, I'm gonna give you your brother's head on a stick. Joe, I want a search warrant. <coughs> Forget it. What have you got? Where's your probable cause? Did you see any bruises? Have you got any corroborating witnesses? I got the word of a kid. Who ran away. You don't even have the kid. Kathy, you've got nothing. I'm not giving this up. I'll go back on Tolsky, but I'm not giving this up. Look, here's a list of witnesses to be notified and prepped for tomorrow. Please. This is Ellie. She's staying with us. Hey, Deb. Help her get settled. Take care of her. Make Ellie feel at home. Come on, I'll show you where we sleep. Go with her. He's a problem. Well, he'll have to do some thinking about that. He'll have to decide how he's going to act here. Me alone. You from Ridley? Yeah. There are others here from Ridley. You can sleep on that one. What is this place? It's not so bad. If you can learn quick and don't make too many mistakes, it's better than living on the street. Sometimes we have fun. That's right. We're sort of a family here. Families hang together. Look out for each other. Nobody's going to hassle you. We won't let them. But you got to look out for us. And don't even think about making trouble here. Because you don't ever want to see me get mad. Ask Deb about that. What else have you got on Richard Barnes? <sighs> Nothing. The guy is Mr. Clean Camp. There's got to be something else. <sighs> Can you get me a list of kids at Ridley? I'll try. <laughs> All those child social service files are sealed. That's the way those people operate. Oh, Edie, I've got to find that boy. <sighs> those kids didn't run away. I don't know what happened, but I feel responsible. There's got to be another way. Breaking into sealed files, that's just about impossible. Impossibles are what you do best. Yeah, I should be making more money. Thank you.
your sadness. It's true heart, Catherine. The children I was trying to help, they're gone, and I don't know what happened to them. I'm afraid I did more harm than good. And I'm feeling I know there are terrible things going on at Ridley. If I can just find that boy, I can begin to unravel it. The ones who prey on children steal everybody's hope. Don't give up, Catherine. Count on working for the city. Twelve o'clock comes and everybody runs and stuff their face. Looks pretty empty. Let's do it. This gets me fired. I'm moving in with you. Deal. Indefinitely. I must be crazy. Tell me I'm crazy. I only think I'm doing this. You're not crazy. What we're doing. It's got to be a felony, right? What's that, six months in the slammer minimum? A year. Wonderful. Here it is. I got you that. I'll keep looking. I'll handle it. You are, you handsome devil. I've been looking all over for you. I've got to have these names verified by two this afternoon. Can you help me out? Mm, after lunch. What you got on that sandwich? Those sardines? Anchovies. Anchovies? You know what they say about anchovies, don't you? No, what? I joined you for lunch, but I can't find my diet wafer. I know I had one in my purse. I've got to ask you a personal question. What kind of cologne are you wearing? Cologne? No. I'm not wearing any cologne. Oh, come on. Nobody just smells like that naturally. Oh, you know what? I'm going to be back in about five minutes. I just remembered something that I forgot to do. If I don't do, I'm going to get in trouble. I'll be back. All right, look, those two over there. Here it comes. Keep your eyes open. It's going to happen fast. All right, here comes Bobby. Bobby holds up the sign right in his face, and everybody goes to work. Okay? It's all over, and then Depp takes the drop. Everybody does their job. Everybody works together. Sure you didn't forget nothing? I was coming to it. It was in the other pocket. Just making sure. I see everything. Nothing gets around me. I got eyes in the back of my hand. Remember that. BYH is some sort of abbreviation or code. Hi. I'm sorry to bother you again. It's Edie. Listen, I know we didn't have any luck, but I just remembered. I've got some court records on those names, with the letters or initials, B, Y, H. Does that help you at all? Bridgemont Youth House. What's that? Oh, foster facility. Oh, well, okay. Thanks again, handsome. Who's mad? You have to ask. <laughs> How's she doing? She's a tough one. <coughs> Doesn't talk much, but she's smart, I think. I thought it might work out, no known relatives. How much is here? Fifteen hundred. I told you I wanted twenty-five hundred for the next one. Twenty-five? And this is the last one. The last one? What are you talking about? It's getting too 
risky. There are too many people on my back. How about for the next one, I'll give you 3000 No, 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 no. I want 2500 for this one, and then it's over and out. All right, all right. I'll find another source. for a boy named Eric Peterson. He has glasses. Eric. He was the new kid's name. I don't know. Where is he? Upstairs in detention. Locked up. separated him from his sister. They'll be looking for him. If I take him back now, I'm afraid I'll lose him again. I can't chance that, Vincent. You'll be safe with us. Right. I was hoping. No, wait, I'm afraid. But he'll be afraid. He's been through a lot. I don't know how. you to someplace safe where no one can hurt you. You going to? We're going with a friend of mine. Someone very extraordinary. I'd like you to meet him. His name is Vincent. Eric? What is that? Is it real? It's real. How'd you get like that? I don't know. I don't think I ever will. I never knew my mother or father. I bet you know them if you saw them. Excuse me, sir. Is Lincoln Center in that direction? Thanks. Nice hat. You hear any bells ringing? No bells. The bells ring. It's all over. You go to jail. I don't want to hear those bells. You don't want to hear them. By the way, sir, where did you get that hat? Raj is so amazing. I'm not going to do this. I don't care. You'll do it.
Vincent tells me you might want to stay with us. Maybe. Well, you know, Eric, we only want those here who want to be here. No one's going to force you to stay. No one will ever keep you from leaving. Well, right now, I don't have anywhere else to go. So, can I stay here for a while? Yes, of course you can. Until our good friends above find some safe place for you. And my sister, too? Mm-hmm. Of course. But, you know, Eric, there are promises you have to make and keep. What kind of promises? To give help and support to those who need it. And to accept help and support from those who offer it to you. I promise that. It's a very important promise. It's how we exist. How about not telling anybody about this? Keep it a secret. Well, you know, Eric, suppose you were to tell this secret to anyone. Do you think they're going to believe you? And uh, even if they did believe you, do you think anyone's going to find their way down here? I'll keep it a secret anyway. Good, good. Well, then, um, welcome. Welcome, Eric. Pocket on the left side. Do it. Do it, Ellie. Do it! You little idiot! We're gonna be here all night. Eric, we'll find you a sister. And can we both stay here? For as long as you like. Okay. Good. You're safe. You're with friends. Now rest. No more. Please. I own you. I bought you. Get it through your head, you're mine. And you better be glad about that because without me, you got nothing. Without me, you got the chicken hawks on the street. You want to be selling your body? You want to be strung out on drugs? I don't want to be here either. You got nothing else! The buck! Do it! That matron of the Bridgemont Youth Home just caved in. She's talking to Blue Street. We got what we need to bring in bonds on illegally transferring kids and child abuse. Right. Good instincts. More than just instinct. Well, what do you want, Radcliffe, a gold star? Have you ever seen this man? I think I have. Around Times Square, maybe. He took my sister! That's the guy who took my sister from Ridley! See if you can find him. If you do, find out where he lives. You know how.
Superintendent of Ridley's about to be arrested. Hmm. This is the man who took Eric's sister. Who is he? A thief. One who uses little children the worst kind. He's connected with the supervisor of Ridley. I saw them talking together, arguing about money. He's selling kids. Barnes is selling kids out of Ridley. Only the ones with no known relatives. The ones who are all alone. And he has Eric's sister? Where is he, Vincent? Do you know? Take me there. To greater risk. It's the only way I can move on them. You can't testify against them, Vincent. The only way I can get an arrest warrant is to see it with my own eyes. I'll take that risk. You're staying right here. I can't trust you. Dad, where are you? You're supposed to keep an eye on her. Ellie, it's okay. I'm taking you out of here to Eric. Who are you? Shh, we don't have much time. I'm the one that Eric was talking to at Ridley. Do you remember? You found him? Yes. Let's go. Dad, don't say anything, please. Come with us. You can all come. What's this? You know this woman? I'm taking her out of here. Don't you try to stop me. Wouldn't think of it. Ah! Oh, come on! Oh. Ready! been all over the world, met people, done things. I've lived in luxury most people could never imagine. But I can't remember a time when I felt as good or complete as I do right now. Hmm. I feel it in you, through you. You really can. It's very beautiful. Sort of. Like a dream. 